this is what it looks like when you use burnt in subtitles in your videos. Depending on the version of DaVinci Resolve 19 you use, you can either add them manually or automatically through its AI function. As you might have guessed, in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you can add them manually, while in the studio version, AI will help generate them automatically. Anyhow, I will show you both methods and we will create them together in Christian's Tech Tips episode 6. Alright, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me yet, I'm Christian and I run this camera and tech channel. If you like this tutorial, there is more on my channel and even more to come. So if you enjoyed it, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Thanks. Today we're diving into how to create subtitles in DaVinci Resolve 19. By the way, this video is not sponsored. I actually bought the studio versions myself years ago because of useful features like that. However, I highly recommend checking the AI generated subtitles because their accuracy depends on factors like your voice, accent and pronunciation. In my experience, it works quite well, at least with my Austrian English, but for specific words or brands names, you will need to manually correct them afterward. All right, let's jump right into DaVinci Resolve 19 and let me show you how it works. All right, I've already opened DaVinci Resolve Studio 19, but for the first part, you can also use your free version, no problem. So we'll show you how to add manually now subtitles to your video. First of all, you go to the beginning of the video. I've already selected the video what I will use. So it's basically the one I use from my intro. And you don't have to add a title and move it around. No, there is a specific function in DaVinci Resolve you can use out of the box. So we'll go to this section here where you have the track descriptions and you click on the right mouse button and go to add subtitle track. As you can see, you have now an independent subtitle track where you can exclusively add your subtitles. For that, you will click on it and then you can see here in the right corner, you have the inspector. If you cannot see the inspector, you just activate it and there you have caption. So the first caption we want to add is create caption for the first part we say. So let's hear what we say. This is what it looks like when you use burn. This is what it looks like when you use. Okay, so let's go to this inspector section and change the subtitle to this is what it looks like when you use. Okay, I think this is the right one. This is what it looks like when you use burn in sub. All right. This was the first part. Now we have the second one. For that, we go again to the inspector section on the right side here and add a new one. So it starts with a new subtitle and we have to change the part as well. But we will hear what I say. Burned in subtitles in your video. No. Looks like when you use burned in subtitles in your videos. Burned in subtitles in your videos. Okay. All right. I think this is the first. Part. This is what it looks like when you use burnt in subtitles in your videos. Depend okay, there is the next one here. That's it. This is what it looks like when you use burnt in subtitles in your videos. Depending on the version of DaVinci Resolve 19 you use, you can either add them manually or automatically through its AI function. All right, and I would say this is the part where I can stop, so you can do this for your whole video. Yeah, it's a little bit more time consuming because you have to edit manually for everything, but it's possible. So the second part I want to show you when you own the studio version, you can simply generate them via AI. For that, let me just delete this part again here. And here we go simply to timeline and to create subtitles from audio. Let's click it. Here you have some options. I can think it will recognize the language automatically, so I keep it on auto. And the caption present subtitle default is also okay. Maximum characters per line, yes. One single line, I don't want to have two lines and the gaps should be zero frames. So I think we can go with the out of the box settings. So let's click create. Okay, this was fast. So let's check out how it worked. This is what it looks like when you use burnt in subtitles in your videos. 
Depending on the version of DaVinci Resolve 19 you use, you can either add them manually or automatically through its AI function. Okay, I would say it worked very well, but as you maybe have recognized, there is one thing wrong, because this is a special name, DaVinci Resolve, so a program's name is DaVinci Resolve, but maybe my pronunciation was not that good. So I go back here and you can see here it says the Winter Resolve 19 use. For sure this should be DaVinci. So I go to this part and I simply go in the section, I select the text and change it to DaVinci Resolve 19 you use. This is what it looks like when you use burnt in subtitles in your videos. Depending on the version of DaVinci Resolve 19 you use, you can either add them manually or automatically through its AI function. All right, I think this was very fast and easy to do. The last thing I want to show you is one more thing. You go to export here because I did it wrong in the past, so I wanted to show you how to do it. So you just go to file name AI subs. I don't know, then you go to your location, desktop, I don't know. All right, then I don't care about the settings. Normally I go with MP4. This is this also then 250,000. Okay, then the frame rate is the same as I use always. All right, and then I go way down to the subtitle settings and this is very important. So when you select this, you will get two separate files when you add this to render queue. And when you start the video, you will not see the subtitles out of the this is very useful when you want to have it separately but in my case i want to have them burned in so i go to as a separate file to burn into video when i now put it to the render queue and go render all it will render out this video and as you can see here in the preview you can already see the subtitles here all right it's completed let's have a quick look at the final result this is what it looks like when you use burnt in subtitles in your videos. Depending on the version of DaVinci Resolve 19 you use, you can either add them manually or automatically through its AI function. All right, and I think that's it. Well, that's it for my newest Christian Tech Tips episode 6. I really appreciate you watching and if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down here for more cool tech content from me. Thank you so much. If you want to keep watching, I will summon a video I've already produced here. Awesome. I think we've covered everything. All that's left for me to say is take care, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next one.